Well, I think the highlight of the trip was gaining a little bit of confidence in my photographic ability and learning how to take pictures, primarily how to take pictures of things that are moving. Like barnacle geese. <laughs> barnacle geese. I had an opportunity to <laughs> photograph a lot of barnacle geese over and over and over, and yeah. some of them were kind of crummy, and some of them actually turned out okay. And then polar bear sightings? Polar, uh, polar bear sightings, of course, that's always a highlight. And uh, the first one, uh, was just really special because it saw us and he was a long ways away and after a while he just sort of came on over and wound up being immediately next to the boat. Magic. So we got some great photos of him. He counts as three bears because he came up once and left and then we moved the boat and he came up and left again. Completely different angle so it counts as a different bear. And then happened again so he, he left and we moved and stopped and he yeah. came up again so we got him three times. <laughs> So. And um, overall expectations of the trip from when you arrived to now is kind of what you had in mind. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, just uh, the uh, the experience of being in the Arctic uh, is special. Lots and lots of uh, cold weather, snow, sleet, freezing rain, uh, rough weather. It was just a great adventure. Highlights of the trip were. Uh, scenery which met expectations for me yeah. i was looking forward to seeing the arctic scenery um i liked all the wildlife sightings mm -hmm. but particularly the um walruses in the water and quite the, insane. they were they were brilliant and the all the polar bear sightings mm -hmm. um so those were highlights for me i was also very pleased to be able to get down from the crow's nest having got up there. <laughs> yeah, life, life, life flashed before your eyes for a moment. For a moment. Um, so yeah, the whole thing's been great. Well, for me, no doubt the highlight of the trip were the polar bears. But also I must say that the group of people that uh, were our fellow travelers, they were just great. And I would like to share with you some last minute information just received. The difference between heaven and hell. In heaven, the mechanic is German, the cook is French, the policeman is British, the administrator is Swiss, and the lover is Italian. Instead, in hell, the policeman is German, the cook is British, the mechanic is French, the lover is Swiss, and the administrator is Italian. <laughs> also, let me tell you that um, we Argentinians, we have a very bad reputation, but it's actually the people that live in the city of Buenos Aires, called the Porteños, that are really bad. And the rest of the country, the people are much nicer. But the porteños are so arrogant <laughs> that the easiest way to become a millionaire is to buy a porteño for what he's worth and sell him for what he thinks he's worth. <laughs> and uh, also, you know, they're so arrogant that when they want to commit suicide, they climb to their ego and they jump from there. <laughs> and uh, the similarity between Superman and a humble porteño is that they're both fiction characters. They don't exist. <laughs> the reputation has even reached the Stockholm. And you know, when an Argentinian falls overboard, instead of throwing a lifesaver at him, do you know what they throw at him? The rest of his family. <laughs> so I think with this information, you can now go and visit Argentina, <laughs> which has said sites which are not as nice as Svalbard, but they come close. So thank you very much for everything, Jerry. Oh, um, I don't know, highlight of the trip was basically everything. Um, I love the mountains, the landscape, the silence, the annoying company, <laughs> um, the animals, everything was amazing and better than I could have expected. Photographically, what were you looking for? Um, I was looking for interesting textures, um, different landscapes, uh, something that I can make it series out of. You know. what, are, what are you going to do with them? I'm going to have an exhibition. You'll send uh, me the link so we can share it out. I'll send you the link, yes. Um, it's in August in mm -hmm. Sydney and um, I don't know what else to say. It was just bloody amazing. Okay, in three words, sum up the trip. Um, Steve is great. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, exciting, terrifying and I don't know. There are no words. There are no words. Good answer. There are no words. That's, That's four, four words. Done.
gosh, yeah. so many. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, pick one. Uh, I guess probably the polar bear approaching the boat. Yeah. That was my highlight. I was totally nervous, totally shell shocked. Uh, but I think I got some nice pics. Yeah. But everything was really a highlight. You know, there were other things that complemented um, mm -hmm. the polar bears. Yeah. Walruses. People, what fun. you had in mind and what you experienced, big difference? Huge difference. Yeah. I don't think I expected it to be an all-round surreal yeah. experience. It was cool. Okay. Now in one sentence, sum up for the people, uh, the experience, one sentence. No words, awesome. That'll work. Thank you. Hello, mom. <laughs> Hello. Hey, hey, I'm on telly. It's great. It's just like being on real telly. I have no idea. Oh dear. It's super. I had a lovely time. Thanks for asking. I were grand. They were a funny girl called Ribbo or something. I didn't like her very much. She was rude. But it's okay otherwise. I've been fine. I took some photos, some snaps for you so we can show Uncle Neville when I get home. It'll be great. <laughs> so thanks very much, Mum. I've got to go now because there's a wall was hitting me foot, <laughs> and it's a bit painful as you can imagine. So bye bye. <laughs> How was that? Uh, that's lovely. <laughs> I'm gonna use that as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you, having been twice, what yes. is your highlight this year? <laughs> um, it was different this year. There was more snow. It was darker. Yeah. We had an idiot on us who's making these silly faces behind me. <laughs> I find also my, my photographic mood has changed over the last year. Yeah. I was much more focused on what to me was the meaning of Svalbard. Yeah. Svalbard is one of those places which is utterly indifferent to you as a human being. Mm -hmm. And when you're there and you look out and it's dark and the mist is down, mm. you really don't you realise that this place doesn't give a damn about you. Yeah. In most places you think I can survive here, I can go for safety, I can go for help. Yeah. Here you can't. Yeah. And so that really affects the way that I see things here. Mm -hmm. It's not in a, an, a bad sense, Yeah. but it makes you try to represent how you would see it sure. and how it makes you feel. Mm -hmm. Lots of monochrome stuff this week. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I think Colour is almost an insult to this place. Uh -huh. I like it. It's not a bright, shiny place. Yeah. It's a place of danger, uh -huh. of desolation. Yeah. You're constantly haunted by the threat of the polar bear. Mm -hmm. You're constantly uh, haunted by the threat of bad weather. Yeah. You're being blocked in the ice and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. So, yeah, I think dark black and white for me suits. Sure. How would you in one sentence say to someone they have to visit this place? Why? Otherwise, I'll come around and break your knees. That's another way. <laughs> <laughs> I find it works. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Good force. No, better still, go to Svalbard or we'll send Brooke to annoy you. Oh, Maybe goodness. just don't come and don't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, even better, yes. Go yeah. away, it's horrid. Go away, it's horrible. You'll hate it. Terrible place. Yeah. Yeah. It is a fantastic place. You'll come here and your soul will be changed. Mm. Fantastic. And you will never see the world in the same light again. Nice one. Thanks, Steve. Bye-bye. <laughs> There wasn't one highlight. The entire trip was amazing from beginning to end. I thank you, Jerry, for teaching me more about photography and Lightroom. Um, the expedition leader. <laughs> the bear man, incredible. Everybody else was just fantastic. Greatest group of people. Loved, loved, loved this. How would you sum up in one sentence to people back home? The great outdoors at its very best, at its most majestic. Stunning, stunning, stunning. As exposition leader, your highlight of this trip? Maybe the group? <laughs> Maybe <ones>. the humor? <laughs> <laughs> the Australian, Canadian, South African, English humor? Yeah. Did I forget somebody? Yeah. American? Argentinian? <laughs> Argentinian humor was really good, actually. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah. No, but uh, of course, uh, talking about the trip itself. Quite a quite nice wildlife, diverse wildlife, put it that way. Seen a lot of different things now. When's your next one? Where are you going? In uh, 31st of May. So a couple of days off. Good stuff. Highlight of the trip. Um, probably seeing the, the, the bear that we saw up north, up in uh, Nordausland and 
I have to say that was probably pretty hard to beat. Also, just being up in the ice, getting up into it, knowing we could go as far north as we did, because we were at uh, over 81 degrees north on this trip, and that was fabulous. And just traveling along the ice edge, knowing that to the north of us, there's nothing but ice right to the pole, and beneath us, the mountainous north coast of Spitsbergen. I mean, that was fantastic. But I think maybe overall, probably the polar bear yeah. coming up to the show. How would you sum up this group? Um, no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, actually, really good group. Lots of fun, lots of laughs, lots of irreverent humor. And uh, I'd travel with them again quite happily, I think. Yeah, sure. Really good, really good. Thanks, Rupert, great stuff. Okay. Okay, so this is it. This is the end of our 2015 Svalbard Photographic Expedition. It has been, sure, I can't think of a time when I've had more laughs on a trip, even last year's Svalbard, which also was quite, quite a hoot, but the group of people we had was absolutely insane. Beautiful, beautiful group of people, loads of laugh, uh, very diverse. I think we had, what did we have? South America, America. For, there was about five different nationalities, which just, but it worked. It just gelled beautifully. There's something about this place which is, makes it more than just a photographic expedition. It kind of gets, it, it, it forces you to kind of look inside yourself. Might sound all weird and stuff, but it, it really is amazing. Um, I've enjoyed doing this. It was never my intention to do like a, a diary episode like I have been. Um, but I think it's quite a nice journal for you guys to see what this is about. It's, yes, it's about photography, but it's way more than that. You're, you're immersed in it, you're on the boat, you're in this environment. I mean, look at this light, just check this. You're in that kind of light, literally 24-7, there's always something happening. And then you have the potential to see things like polar bears, walrus, arctic fox, reindeer, whales, birds. It, it really is, it's very, very difficult to explain. And even with you guys having watched um, all of these little uh, videos, I, <laughs> words can't describe it. So it's been real. August next year, I'm doing it again. So if you guys are keen, get in touch, let me know. Same place, different light, but always an amazing experience. It's been a real journey. I'm gonna go pack now, but um, it has been incredible. Truly, I think there is nothing that can top this. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for following along. It's been real. My name is Jerry, I'm from Wild Eye. I will see you guys next year.